Hi, I'm Keith Barker. I had a question recently asked of me saying, if I'm getting a new job inside the IT world and I'm looking for work, what's more important to an employer? Skills, certifications, or college degree? What's the most important? And the real answer is, it depends. So let me give you a little backstory on me real quick. When I was younger, I was very, very motivated to get into the, my career, and I skipped college. I didn't attend or get a degree in college. I think I went to one semester, like junior college, and that was it. I went right into business. And I don't regret that. However, in retrospect, if I had to do it again, here's what I would do. I would get some technical education first. I would get a, degree, a certification, for example, now Cisco or Juniper or CompTIA, what have you, get some certification under my belt, get some real world experience, and then work on a degree in that order. So that way you can have a revenue stream, have skills, and build work experience. Because the perfect combination, my friend, for somebody who wants to go out and get that job is somebody who has real world experience, which is critical, somebody who has a certification, and they've got a degree. So because a degree might take several years, I would encourage you to get a certification first, start some real world experience, and then get that degree. And then, my friend, the world is your oyster. Now, having said that, just because an individual, and I have a couple CCIEs with Cisco, and I have some Juniper certifications, some HP certifications, some Brocade, and Palo Alto, et cetera, et cetera. Just because I have some certifications doesn't mean that I'm done, because the things in the network always change. Technology always increases. So the, the fourth thing I'd recommend, so skills, real world training, and real world uh, application, certification degree. The other thing I'd recommend, that's more than four, isn't it? The other thing I'd recommend is the ability to continue learning. Just make a commitment right up front that you're always going to continue learning. So having said that, if I'm a quadruple CCA or whatever it is, I need to be prepared tomorrow and the next day and the next day to continue to adapt and learn because that is probably the number one skill for survival and thriving in our world today is the ability to continue to learn. So I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.